So, this is a game that I feel like a lot of people know, but they don't really talk about it until somebody mentions it, and they're like, yo, I know that game. That game's awesome. Mischief Makers by Treasure and Enix. This is a game on the Nintendo 64. And it's a very fun game. It's a very fun game. And if you've never played it, I would recommend it. I love these guys. The Beastectors. This is the... Uh, this, this reminds me. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> Lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, you, you play as Marina, you grab and you throw. I was just testing to make sure it worked. I'm gonna kill Jun now. Okay. What? Erase. Erase one, really? Yes, quit, no. Okay. So, I don't... Naming your thing doesn't actually, like, matter. But the the age the age is relevant to the ending there's like two different images you can get so there's one for below 18 and one for between like 18 to 99 so i don't remember what the below 18 image looks like but i remember i don't particularly like the one above 18 now that sounds that sounds dangerous when you say it like that dylan but Basically, uh, all I'm doing is changing a static image at the very, very end of the game that you need to basically 100% to see. So, come on now. Don't, don't worry about it. Man, I'm bored. I came to visit the planet of Clancer, and I can't go out. So, yeah. Um, the planet's called Clancer. This is the professor. And this is his spaceship, which looks like a... This look, it looks like a, a living room. Marina told me to stay in the spaceship till she comes back from scouting. I think his name is Theo. Professor Theo. I'm getting tired. Huh? Visitors? We're flying. What the heck? So these are the Clancers, chat. I always thought of these guys as like shy guys. I like them because they're goofy fellas. Does that mean you're gonna 100% the game? Yeah, because the ending to this game is like a, a film. It's like a film. Oh, I just noticed Treasure's logo is just. Why is it just randomly on the monitor over there? That can't be right. That might be an emulator glitch. It's not even like on the monitor properly, it's clipping above it. That's weird. I'll explain it. Me. I'll explain it. You yeah, look at all these tiles. Isn't they great? Meet Marina. It's Planet Clancer. Stage one. Ha ha ha, feel the power of the great empire. You're coming with me. I've been captured by the evil empire. What are you gonna do to me? We were ordered to take you to our emperor. That's all we were told. What I do know is that you'll have a horrible time with us. Get ready to cry and scream. No, Marina, help me. Shoot, I've lost the trail. But where are they anyway? Here's Marina. Hey, are you Marina? The ultra intergalactic Cybot G. And you are the people who kidnapped my professor. I can tell by your faces. Oh no, don't associate us with those guys. We're also suffering because of them. Marina is learning, you know, it's, it's, a, new, it's a new species. So you gotta give her a break here. Go to my village to meet Jold. If you want to talk to someone, use L or R when you're next to him. Guess what button doesn't work on my controller, chat? 
Anyway, I, I am now Marina. So this is what Marina does. She grabs you. And she shakes you down. Pleasant. This is Neptune. From what I was told, you must be Marina. Geold is looking for you. Okay. See? You can you can get very violent with it, but you can also do this. And you can do this. Okay. I'm the warrior who guards this item shrine. Okay. Oh. A heart of red is a heart of courage. Collect ten, get one, continue. Hum, hum, hum. Right now, this is Clancer's most popular song. It's called Continue Go Go. Okay. You can also throw things, chat. See? You can throw. This village has many ruins. The structure is called the Clance Shrine. It's great, right? Hi, my name is Taryn, and this is my sister, Celis. Please be nice to her. Hi, I'm Celis. Okay. Alright. Finally, I've been waiting for you. I'm Neptune's all-wise, all-knowing Jold. This is the planet Clancer, where we Clancers leave all our races kind and friendly. His mustache looks like painted on. And because of these traits, the Empire has persuaded many Clancers to become evil. They're so good that they're easily influenced to become evil. They use their powerful troops to invade other planets. They are trying to rule the universe. I'm not sure why they kidnap your professor. I'm guessing that they'll take him to the Emperor. You must rescue him before that happens. To get from place to place, you must use the warp gates. There are many such gates on Clancer. However, these gates were all sealed a long time ago. It's time to open them. Use this clan bomb at the clan shrine to unseal the warp gate. Thanks, old. Good. So, look at this. Look at this big guy. What's he doing here? Now I have a bomb. So this game, I've seen speedruns of it. It's kind of insane, actually. Oh my, the shrine was destroyed. The clan bomb was stronger than the clan boxes. Marina, grab the spinning star and press B. That's the warp gate. Yeah, there's, there's cool speed tech for this game. And the game also keeps track of your time that you do it in. So, as you can see, I got a B rank. Now, let me explain. I didn't mean to press start. Man, that was a long, long way to go. I wonder what this place is called. He, he, he. I've been waiting for you, Marina. What? Who are you? Why are you copying me? He, he. Not only do I have your look, but I also have all your special techniques down. Now, if I go around doing bad things to folks using your name, what's gonna happen? You must be a drone of the evil empire to come up with a plot like that, but I'll stop you. Oh, I'm scared. You're so scary, Marina. Catch me if you can. There she goes. This guy's so sad. Look at him. Not you again. Have you come to shake me using down to see what items fall out? I wouldn't do that to you. Stop jumping over my house. Stop using up to boost over it too. I know that pressing up twice is the only way you can make it over my house. Thanks for the info. <laughs> you feel bad. Coming again to show off your slider jump, you know what? We can also slide by holding down and pressing A, but we can't jump higher and farther while sliding, the way you can. This is the coolest speed tech, dude. It's so cool. Welcome, Marina. I heard you've got an attitude problem. Using bombs to cause trouble? If you want a big explosion, I've got a great bomb for you. Can I have it? Oh, whoops. I need that. How do I get that? Okay. There we go. Alright, here we go. I didn't jump. So, these gold gems you see...
Damn. That's hard. There we go. The gold gems you see, uh, they're, they're, you have, there's one in each level, and they add an extra bit of time to the end sequence, so you need, like, all of them to see the full ending. It's kind of cool, actually. Sob, sob, Marina came back to steal my gems again. Sob, sob, sob. You can dash in the air on the ground by tapping, and you can get items in the air. Or I can do that. I only took one of his gems. Oh, Marina, please stop digging, tapping B while holding down to uncover my buried item. So stop it. I've hidden my loot. Oops, never mind. Forget I said anything. I'm, I'm, not, a, I'm not a bad person. The tutorial is making me do all the heinous acts that I'm being accused of, but I'm actually doing them. It's not good. What? Did you just come through the red warp gate? Mm, yes, you must have pressed B at the gate to go to the next area. How do you think I beat the first level, dude? Keep in mind that the gates are one way, so you may not be able to return. Be careful. Thanks. Let me take that. Okay. Flower. 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 Welcome to Cosmic Hospital. We've got love and joy for all. If you're hurt, we're here. Recently, a monster named Marina has been causing trouble. We're very busy. Hey, chat. Want to see something weird? So, you see this guy, right? So, when you throw friend, they just go, they get a little dizzy and they get up and they go back to their position. This guy? He's dead. Killed him. Only him, though. Only him. Marina is coming. She's coming at me with her dash, pressing the C button. There must be a trick to it because it's a little slower than tapping. <laughs> I killed a guy. Don't ask me why this guy's in prison, why he's got a cowboy hat, and why he shoot the gun. He just do. Okay. Slide jumping is crazy. Huh. Marina, are you going to torture me too? All people do is use B to torture me. They never just set me down. They always have to throw me around. See, watch. See, he just gets a little dizzy and he gets up and he's okay. But the other guy, he died. I'm... I'm I'm the director of this hospital. I heard a lot of things from Jild. He's one of my patients. I heard about Kalina. I hear she's your clone. You must be careful. Yeah, we're good. That's the director. Remember him. He'll be an important character later. Maybe. Alright. So, allow me to explain. But after I find the right button. There it is. Okay, so you see how every time is ranked and the da the time down there is a C? You need to have that time down there be an A by the end of the game. Which means here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play level one. And I don't know how to skip. I know how to skip. Okay. We're gonna talk to old. You are actually encouraged to be a speedrunner, yeah. Game's lagging. Okay. Speedruns of this game are very impressive. So you see how I got an A? This game actually has S ranks implemented. You can get a, you can get an S rank, and speedrunners get S ranks on like earlier stages because they can. But S ranks are I don't even know if they're humanly possible on every stage, but they do exist, and I've never gotten one casually. Okay. Shit. 
That was going pretty good up to that point. You know what? I'm trying again. I'm trying to try again. S scrape as many seconds as possible off the early stages and you're good. Whatever gets the... Whatever gets the job done. Okay. I didn't mean to go in that hole. I lost three seconds doing that. Hey, not bad though. Alright, Clam Ball in. Welcome to Clam Ball Land, boys and girls. This is the greatest place on the planet. Welcome to Clam Ball Land. Wow, Dad, this is the Clam Ball Land. That's right, son. The theme park full of thrills and action. Follow me, son. Sure, Dad. We're going to Clam Ball Land! Whoa! So much fun we're having! Very good. Look how much fun we're having. See, we're all having a great time. Yeah. I don't remember. This should be a white ball, right? There it is. Oh, I actually grabbed it. Wrong one. Okay. I'm doing... I'm trying to get the yellow gem. If you can believe it, there's a lot about this game I still remember. Because I've definitely beaten it more than once in my life. That was some cock balls. I like their laugh. They sound like they're having a great time. See, I, I love the Clancers. They're just they're just a bunch of goofy fellas having having a good time. Well, that's not good. Woo! They're not laughing at me. They're ha they're laughing at the fun they're having. Should open up. Uh, when does that open up? Why a bomb? I don't know. Now I know. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's the gold gem. Um... Oh wait, that should come do this, right? So now I can climb up here. Hey chat, you ever notice when somebody says like, Oh, I remember this part of the game. And then they don't remember this part of the game. <laughs> Why is that such a consistent rule? Whenever somebody talks about how they, they they play the game a lot and they remember it, and then they immediately are like, uh, what do I do here again? Okay, that was slow. We need to go faster. Okay, that was two minutes and 40 seconds. We need to go faster. Let's go faster. I love this game. It was a little slow, but I can still, I can still save, you know. I could probably jump that wall, but I, I don't, I, I don't want to miss it. So I'll just do this. Ah. My movement is a little crusty. Okay. 
I don't know how most people would get to play this game, but it is one of those games. Oh, B rank? That's not good enough. That's not good enough. It needs to be better than that. Come on now. Well, couldn't do much about that. I was too fast. You'll see some of the later stuff. Shit. Alright. A rank, baby, A rank. See, levels are like pretty quick. Okay, not bad. Well, all right, we're going to uh, Spike Land. Welcome to the one and only Spike Land theme park. There will be odd events held everywhere you look. Have a great time. Dad, I don't want to be here. I want to go back to Clamball Land. I'm with you, son. This place is too weird for me. Let's get out of here. Let's hurry, Dad. I got a weird feeling about this place. Spikes. There are spikes everywhere. I can't take it any longer. Run for it. They're entering, though. Why did your dad leave you? I don't understand. Listen to the noise they make. You can't touch them. See, he's having a great time! Here, come here. Have a great time with me. Come here. Here, have some fun. Go have some fun. Yeah. He's having a great time. See, he was having a great time. Nice combo. Yeah, good job. Not oh, Spike Land, chat. We're having. Look, watch. I think I broke his AI. Now we're good. See? He's having a great time. It's Spike Land, chat. This is what you do in Spike Land. I miss Hint. If you give me 10 red, I'll teach you something good. Haha. <laughs> Ew. I'm just gonna grab this. Some of these are a lot easier to get than others. It's alright, chat. Everything everything on this planet has the same face as a Clancer. It's very strange. But the game is very... I don't like using the word charming because I feel like it's a very empty compliment to give a game. But there's there's a lot of like the world really feels fun. That's fine. I think maybe with a good boost you could probably like skip that whole side section, but 19 seconds is fine. <clears throat> I mean, I got the level's very short. All right, three Clancer kids. Hey, it's dinner time. Where are my children anyway? Oh, pretty lady, sorry to bother you, but would you find my three children? Please find them and bring them back home. Why, thank you. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. See, Marina's a great character because she's funny. She's. Don't worry about that guy. He's just a little butterfly fella. That's one child secured. I gotta ride this thing up. Okay. See, the Clancers are all good. They're all... No, 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 no. Go up. 
This way. This way. That didn't work. Alright, that's fine. Uh, maybe it's the orange one. Yeah, okay. The game itself isn't very long, if you were wondering. A big thing that contributes to its uh, play length, I think, is if you want to go for the gold gems. And if you want to go for the, um, the A rank ending. So, you can get a lot of time out of this game, but the speedrun's about an hour long, I think. You, you definitely want to grab this guy fast because he runs the whole fucking stretch of this building. Yeah, see? And then he loops around like an asshole. Just clearing the spike out of the way. And if you drop them, they run right back to where they were. Thanks for your help. This is your reward. It's not much, but I hope you accept it. By the way, my husband isn't back yet. I wonder where he is. Alright, so the level's beaten, but in order to get the gold jemmy in this level, you get a little hint. Oh, where is, where is John Husband? I don't know. Where could he be? But did you know you could do this? Oh, you see that? A little secret behavior. Ah, shit. Okay, you need to use D-pad for this. Oh, but it's hard to do, man. There we go. How do you get in there? You grab him, ta-da, and you steal his gold, mighty. You don't even actually have to deliver him, but I'm going to, because, you know, he's got a little Santa hat. He's a dad. There you go. Where were you? Shut up. I want to be alone. Leave me alone. This is my life. Don't don't ask me. I don't know. I'm afraid I don't know the family circumstances. <laughs> All right, let's get a fast time. So let's get the one in the far end first cuz he's the one that's most likely. We're gonna get the one on the far end first. Because he's the most likely to fuck up. Did I say that? That wasn't that bad, though. That wasn't that bad. That surely that's an A rank. If it's not, then then that's sad. Okay, 56 seconds. It's a new record, Lou. All right, welcome to Block Man. Let's go to Block Man. Hey, Marina. I was expecting you. It's me, Taryn, from Neptune Village. Do you remember my sister? She's gone. Where could she be? Please help me find her, Marina. 
Hey, don't panic. I'll find your sister. Don't worry. Jeez, Marina, calm down. He didn't sound that, like, panicked. Actually, I'm looking for the professor, too. Luckily, he's strong and healthy for his age. Yeah, shake me, shake me hard. Grab and shake me, shake me to awaken my fighting spirits. Bro, now you're making it weird. There is black man blood running through my body. It's the blood of heroes. All right, let's give him a shake. Yep. This is Block Man, baby. Pow. Pow. Well, <laughs> I just gotta identify the gold gem. Hold on. One of these guys might just randomly have it. Ow. I'm alternating between D pad and C stick. Oh, he's dead. Is it you? No. Oh, you're yellow, so it's probably you. Hey, there we go. There we go. Okay. Now I have the gold gem. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. They saw what happened to their other guys. They're ready for a fight. Yeah, that's the level. That's the whole level. Here, the guy goes, hey, can you help me find my sister? And Marina goes, all right, chill out. Don't worry, I'll do it. Besides, I'm looking for the professor and he's he's a healthy guy. And then block man over here goes, yeah, yeah, shake me, yeah. Yeah, shake me, good, yeah. Wake up my fighting spirit, yeah, but yeah. How do these guys enter and exit their homes? Well, the the obvious answer is they walk around it. I know that's a really stupid answer, but it's true. The entire world is not two-dimensional. That was fast, baby. That was fast. 42 seconds. All right, warming up. You guys like worms? You like worms? Let's water the flowers. Let's cover the desert with beautiful flowers. Hey, what are you doing here? This is my spot. Get out of here at once. Hey, this desert doesn't belong to anyone. I can be anywhere I want to. This is penis music. Shut up, or I'll really beat you up. Stop. I'm Marina, the Ultra Intergalactic Cybot G. I like how she hesitated in, in introducing herself, because she's like, this is, this is a fucking worm, dude. Stop bullying this little girl. Fuck you. Huh? Are you challenging me? Bring it on, Marina. Job's done. Hit him with a little red roll. A little red roll. <laughs> 47 seconds. I bet I can do that faster.
Good. Escape from trouble. Go to the next area. Worm got fucked up. Didn't stand a chance. Not against Marina Light Years. Crisis, Neptune. Jill, please tell everyone to search for Celis. Calm down, we have to protect the village. Don't go outside. Besides, Marina will return Celis to me. I can feel it. Great Scott, Gerald, strange spur clancers are attacking us. What? Hey kid, take the other kids to the safe area. Howdy, partner. So, this is the royal family's treasure. I'm taking all the treasure with me. When the king's away, the villains will play. Go back to where you came from. Hey, look who's talking. You've lived long enough, old man. Your time is up. <laughs> Taryn, I brought Celis back as promised. Now let me handle this joker. Hmm. Oh. Kick his ass. Yeah. Legit. All right. Me big guy. Oh. Clean sweep. Oops. When you throw them, they're a, they're a projectile. Oh, that was the last one. Okay. So you get the gold gem on that one. Your your teammates there actually have HP. If they get hit too much, they they back down. So in order to get the gold gem, you need to win the fight without either of them surrendering. And that's what I did. You just throw. All right, we're going to the Wild West. Oh, look at those birds, chat. Look at those birds in the background. Those white triangles flipping up and down. Oh, that's... That's... Oh, shit. Kitty gun. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh. I'm gonna borrow you for a second. Hmm. Everybody in this game like explodes comically like that. It's quite fun. Get out of my damn hands. Okay, hold on. Shit. What? What? This is actually a really good level to heal, if you didn't know. Don't mind me, I'm just... I'm, I like the music for this level quite a bit, actually. Just looking for, uh... Cactussy. I don't remember exactly where the gold gem is here. Um, I gotta find it first. Some levels the gold gem- oh there it is. Okay. Yeah, so on some levels the gold gem is like along the way. So you can just get it with a good time. And the speed run does that. I'm pretty sure the speed run- the, like the good speed run is the all- all gems. Cause that's the most exciting, right? Okay. But yeah, you need a... Ow. Alright, let's clear the path, shall we? That's good. Marina has a lot of HP. I have two whole extra health parts. No problem. Just gotta do this twice. And do 
it again. Some gold gems are a little more interesting than others. But I like this era of collectible in 64 games because it's completely optional. There's one per level. It, it tells you when you get it. And if you don't know where it is, it's fun to kind of look for it and try to figure out what exactly you need to do to get it. Because like I said, some of them are more obvious than others. But not all of them are very clear. The last gold gem I ever got in this game was in World 3. I'll explain that when I get there. Probably not today, but you know, when I get there. Volcano. Alright, we're doing it again, but this time fast. Man just took a fucking took a bullet and a half, huh? Okay. I can go over this. Mm, I need to not lose the bomb like that. Wanna throw hands? Throw hands. Well, good thing that one killed him because I wasn't going back out there for him. Okay. Jump over the wall. No one could have predicted that. <laughs> Bro, anti aired me. Okay. Try again. I don't know what the deal with the cactus is, but I appreciate him. 35 seconds. That's good. All right. Volcano. Wow. Ouch. Very angry volcano. I don't know why it plays this theme here. It's kind of weird. that up. Okay. Yeah! Done. It's a very short level, but I have to do it again because it was a B rank. Oh no, I can't... I can't go back to the previous world <laughs> because it requires the L button. Uh oh, how do I how do I fix this problem? <laughs> how, do I, how do I fix this problem? Um maybe there's a button I can change. So it's like the L button. Which one's the L button on this fucking menu? It's this one, right? L trigger? So I need to change a button. I need to change a button that doesn't get used into, into the L. I don't know how to do this. What if I change this to the L trigger? Because that way I can, I mean, it's really annoying.
Okay. I did it. It works. I did it. seconds okay and now I don't have an R button <laughs> uh-huh 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 it's okay it's a menuing thing only all right welcome to Megan shrine it's now, uh, we're now out of Volcano. Why? Um, because. You got a problem with that? Maybe you shouldn't be so fucking judgmental. Now listen to this. This music is slightly penile, I will admit. Just a little bit, though. Just a little penile. He'll be okay. He'll be okay. I'll be okay. Hmm. Alright. Bro, just stop hitting me. He'll be alright. I mean, no one knows what the Clancers are really made of, right? Yeah. Oh, Marina. Don't fall in the lava. Do you like how this game keeps track of the amount of days you've played? When you hit 24 hours? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, being fast. Isn't all it's cracked up to be. The quickest hand. Okay. Alright, don't mess up. Pretty good. See, 41 seconds, not bad. All right, Vertigo. Don't get seasick, chat. These levels, these levels get kind of weird. Oh, ay ay ay. So if you reset this too early, this happens. Okay. I don't... Why are you doing this? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's get it right this time. Here we go. Oh, jeez. B. Sink B as in very bad. Do better. That's funny. That's really funny. I'm laughing. I'm laughing very loud. I tell you, man, the game kind of picks up a little bit. Just a little bit. In World 2. But that's mostly just from, uh... Not from necessarily from a casual perspective, but more so from like uh, trying to get everything, especially times. That was terrible. That was so bad. There are later levels that I'm just gonna have to accept I get a B on. But these ones aren't them. I forget what the total time required is uh, that you need. Okay. But it needs to be good. There's one level in particular. That's not gonna be a good rank. And that, that's 4-2. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten better than a C rank on that stage. Sink or float. Oh my god, the game. <laughs> yup. Yup. <laughs> yup. I can't. Oh my. <laughs> oh no. This is, uh, this is the level. the level chat. Come on, go this way. I think on a uh, virtual console it runs well enough. Alright, are you ready for one of the worst gold gems? It wasn't over. Oh. So I don't think I explained that mechanic well enough. So there are two ways to dash in this game. There's the double tapping the D-pad and using the C, uh, the C buttons. The C buttons aren't as fast, so that jump you need to mash the shit out of your D-pad. And when I was a kid, I, I could not mash that fast. Now that I am a full-grown adult, I still can't mash that fast because I'm old. But we, we managed. We managed that first try. That gold gem usually takes me forever to get because I'm not good. At doing it and then the second one is like a platform introduced into the equation fine there we go okay 12 seconds is good man hot rush Mm. I'm, well, I mean, I'd say it's an interesting game. I like this game. 
But I'm, I'm not starting anything, like, major right now because... Uh... I'm waiting for some longer games to be out soon. Shave a few seconds off that, but I'm kind of okay with taking the 46. 70 part series. I don't actually know how long those games will take, but yeah, I'm, I'm waiting specifically for those uh, those RPGs. And even then, chat, I have Dream. I have Fantasy Made and Wars Dream I have to get to at some point as well. Declines the sequel to Safido's. It should be much better. Work, work, work. I need a short break. You think it's meaningless, but it's really refreshing. Be careful, if you hold still, you're gonna sink. Ah, uh, it's so relaxing to not have to think about a thing. This feels great. What, you want help cross? Grab on and swing with us, but remember, we can't hold you long. They call her heavy. Dream ought to be like really exciting. Legitimately. I made a mistake. I don't know if I'm gonna go as hard on Devil of Decline as I went with um, Safidos. Safidos has, or Devil Decline has a post game that's intended and not after the fact. Well, at least I have the DCT to be there. Oh. Hmm. Well, I'm excited for Dream, yeah. I am. I I was originally thinking of uh, playing Dream like last month, but with Decline on the way. And now Foresight on the way, it's like, I can't fit it all into the sketch. The armor she's wearing? Blood, she's a robot. She's a cyborg. Intergalactic Cyborg G. Marina. Hmm. Playing all three. If I tried to balance all three of those, I would die. Because we, we both know that every single chapter in Dream is going to take a stream alone. And there's going to be like 15 or so chapters in that game minimum, right? Oh. Uh, Foresight, who knows how long that'll take. It's a- it's a big budget game, though. And Devil of Decline is definitely going to go on for longer than most of you want. <laughs> so, the answer is, if I played all three of those at the same time, I would probably die. If I had grabbed him like I had planned, that would have gone pretty well, actually. <clears throat> Oops. Well, um, when Safiros originally came out, I was playing Healing Nature, and so I played I played one part of Safiros, and I was like, I'll come back to it when I'm done Healing Nature. And then Healing Nature was also very long. Oh. Yeah, Elden Ring DLC is soon as well, but I haven't even got back to Elden Ring regularly because I just... <laughs> I don't have room on my computer to download it, as stupid as that sounds. Yeah. I finished Safiros. I finished it. I didn't 100% the, like, the, the gallery, or I didn't do every single, like, side quest, but I did beat I did beat the post-post game. Like, I, I did properly beat the game. So, it is all there, just not every single extra, extra boss. Because the game got to a point where the enemies were... 
the enemies were more difficult than like some bosses and I didn't really want to fight them anymore because they were taking forever. One in particular was pissing me off because he kept fucking exploding. Every time Aku got close to killing him, he would just explode and I didn't know how to stop it. So I couldn't get him in the, the Chronicle and I was just annoyed by it. I smell something good. Hold on, chat. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I smell is coming from outside of my apartment. So uh, it sucks. <clears throat> Alright. Flam B. Oh. It's a B. Has has the gold gem? Maybe. No. Does he? I know how to kill him fast. Ow. You gotta wait for the reticle. Beep, beep, beep. I just don't remember how to... I mean, that's how you hit him. Grab me! Oh, I'm messing it up. <laughs> Blood got fried. Uh, I maybe I just have to shake his head until the gold gem comes out. Yeah, he takes, uh... He takes a lot of damage if you dunk him in the lava. He refuses to play the game. <laughs> he won't play the game. He won't play the game. Hmm. 
Kefu was a game that I played, and then it got it turned into a game that I played like maybe once a week. And that was mainly because the game got really frustrating and sunk cost Velocity. This motherfucker. Yeah, I learned you could steal I I items. You could steal items out of uh, enemy inventory so they could just not attack you anymore. And I think I started doing that at some point. Why do you give me that attack? Kefa was a really neat idea, which is why I gave it so much time. Dude, he he won't give me he doesn't he's not giving me the right attack. Fucking B, dude. This fucking. This fucking B. seconds I just gotta grab a bar I gotta eat something I hope this stays down I ate my breakfast and my vitamin but we're all on. Cut, well ride hmm Bar isn't that great. Or maybe it's my lack of appetite. That was embarrassing. Okay. by the speed brothers of this game because my hand gets tired doing all this fucking d-bad mashing see i gave up the ghost on that one i'm just i'm just gonna ride it normally no big deal Intergalactic robot cyborg marina. Yeah. 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 Ah. Ah. Jesus. Bad. Mm -mm. Did I not change the title? Oh, wait, no, you mean the second game. Uh, it's Mahjong Soul. Although, I don't play it for the gacha elements, I just play it because I like Mahjong. Hmm. 
Gotta remember the pattern. Just be careful you don't grab the gold star. I was watching, um, Saki. I actually almost finished it. Man, the amount of good hands they get in that series is, like, bullshit. What? Why? One of the character's special abilities is her presence is very unnoticeable. So when she calls Richie, nobody hears her at the table. <laughs> nobody hears her. And they're like, holy shit. I just got robbed. But, like, I didn't hear anything. I was like, okay. Saki's hilarious in that sense, yeah. It's, an, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. And I like Mahjongi, so. Yeah. Hmm. Well. I got... I got into Mahjong from... Toho. Toho Unreal Mahjong. I just know this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna get the gold down. <clears throat> Saki is a bunch of cheaters, though. It's entertaining cheating, though. But also, like, the way they... The way they do counterplay is pretty entertaining. But... You can't expect me to believe that some character can just be like... Haha, guess what? Um, under the sea. Four times in a row. How the fuck could anybody in the world possibly get that Han? You can't. The main character's main ability, her signature move is uh, sumo after con. Which is crazy. I've never sumoed after a con before. Also, I didn't know about this rule. Where if you, if you con somebody, if you con somebody in sumo, uh, the person you conned off of has to pay the sumo like it's a Ron. Which is crazy. Because, like, Lord knows that's ever going to come up. Hmm. Only a B? We need to do better than that. Come on. I forgot I can go downwards. Oh my god, it lags so much that it keeps buffering a dash input to the side. Oh, oh my god, go down. Go down. Yeah, robbing a con is, uh... It's a neat wing con. It's a rare one. Oi, this level. Not bad. 
See, my favorite character in Saki is the one who looks like Sunny Milk. For no other reason than because she looks like Sunny Milk. I'll put him back on his raft. Oh, you can have my raft, actually. He deserved that. Yeah, Yuki. I like Yuki because she's just Sunny Milk. Literally just Sunny Milk. <laughs> that's, that's all I see when I see her. And she makes me giggle. Well, I've played better. Do I keep the gold gem if I leave? I don't. I have to finish the level with it. That's what I thought. Okay. I have a couple more episodes before I'm done. But no, I think it's fine. It's also extremely, like... I mean, I wouldn't call it extremely, mind you, but, uh, there, there are severe implications of girl-on-girl -girl behavior at every fucking turn. Every turn, man. Every fucking turn. Why do they get all head red hot in the face? It's gotta stop. Play some Mahjong. Take the edge off. guys are insane. Oh, if I missed that, that would have been pretty bad. <clears throat> okay. That was only a B rank. I'm gonna hold that L, I think. Okay. Seasick climb. Alright, this one's actually pretty bad. Please mind your, uh, mind your eyesight when you witness this level. Okay. What's Akagi like? I assume Akagi is a more mature one. I don't really know though. Mahjong as an anime is funny. Because actually having played the game, you realize how much bullshit they spout when they're like, Hey, check out my winning hand. And it's like, bull fucking shit you have that hand. Like the tile's gotta be rigged. Oh. Oh, nice roll buffer. The same author as Kaiji. Oh, isn't that guy also in Mahjong Soul? I know exactly what you're talking about. I now know exactly what you're talking about. I thought that was Kaiji, but I guess if it's the same guy, it makes sense. I never watched season two of Kaiji, but I did finish the first season. It's pretty good. Zawa. I tried to watch the gambling anime before. It started with a K. I don't remember the name of it, but the girl was like insane. Basically, the, everything in the school was decided by gambling. Everybody's a cheater, 
but she takes like extremely high risks and they're like what the fuck why would you do that and she's like oh because i get mad horny when i just you know when i take a risk and it pays off it gets my juices flowing i'm just like this chick fucking insane just like that buffer jump kage guri yeah that's the one I couldn't handle more than like four, three or four episodes of that. It was just too weird. Like I like the idea of it, but the main character just started getting real weird. And I was like, I don't really want to see her succeed because she's just a fucking freak. Everybody in the school is an asshole as well. There's nobody worth rooting for. She's also a Mahjong soul? No shit, really. Okay. Okay. Alright, ready for a boss fight, chat? Welcome to Megan Brawl. So, in order to get the gold gem in a boss fight, you have to no-hit them. Speak! Tell me who the Emperor is! I really don't know. I don't know anyone on this planet. So you won't tell me? Well, it seems that the Emperor knows who you are. Of course he knows me. I'm famous. Everyone knows that I'm a genius in robotics. What do you know? Now I'm only going to ask you once more. Then it's going to get ugly. Stop! You, Megan and Son, you've gone too far this time. It's time to teach you both a lesson. Well, look who's here. I guess now we'll see who the real teacher is. Let's go, son! School's in! Son? It'll be fine. He just... He straight up chewed him. So you gotta grab his big ass hand and throw it at him. If you try to do too much damage to the big guy, uh, the, the little guy heals him. going really good for a first attempt. back and I start fucking rolling. Hmm. 
You gotta appreciate how there's a boss where the goal is to make him punch himself in the jaw. Finish up. There you go. Second try is good. Can't be tossing them. He didn't get digested, it's fine. Marina's efforts helped rescue Professor Theo. The Empire's plans have been destroyed. But your adventure is just beginning. Go on, Marina. You're our hope for victory. By the way, here's a useful tip. Do you collect gold gems? You'll need them at the end of the game. So start collecting them. Grabbing is where you must begin. Shaking for treasure from within. Throwing fire is how to win. Ultra Intergalactic Cybot G Marina. Her iron fist will destroy you. Second try for that is pretty good. That, that boss can cause all kinds of problems. Not the one I have the worst time with though. That's the one in the next world. <laughs> there he is. Rise, justice warriors. Through fire. Justice is served. Love these guys. The Beast Ector. Listen up, warriors. He's a projector. Evil Theo and Marina are disrupting the Clancer's peace. I can't believe that the Migans were defeated by them. They're a lot worse than the Migans. Just look at the evil they've spread. Let's show them some justice of our own. Bring them to me alive. Beat all their asses. Now she's singing. This guy's pissed. I, I'll never forgive them. I'll destroy anyone who dares disgrace this planet. No, don't destroy them. Bring them back alive. I, Lunar, will completely destroy them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's good. Enough! I said alive! The athletic festival is getting closer. I'm really looking forward to attending this festival. However, the prize has not yet been chosen. What should we do? Hey, stop talking and bring the professor here to me. Now give this to Marina. Kidnap Theo? That means he's the prize to be won? Alright. What is this? It's an invitation card. Marina was also invited to the athletic fest. It's time for the athletic fest! And the professor is the grand prize! Whoa! Professor, it seems like this planet has many inhabitants. You okay, Professor? Hello, Professor, are you listening? Are you listening at all? Hey, it's a decoy. What? 
Why couldn't they just give me the thing properly? What's this? A love letter from me? Wow, how sweet. A secret admirer. She looks so pissed when she says that. I've kidnapped Theo. Come to Snow Mountain if you want him back. Lunar. Not the prof. Hee <laughs> ha You've gone too far. You've gone too far. You mean wrong too. Little girl, I'll punish you with my burning fist of justice. That's all I can get. The voice acting is charming. Alright, it's charming. Leave it alone. This brown pot is called a clam pot. You can use it to store anything you want. Store an item, release on top of the pot to make an item out. Stand on top of the pot. You guys ready? We're about to make some ingredient. Nice. If you grab the clam pot by holding down, you can check its contents. The items are marked with the numbers. Pressing LR, you can change their order. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. One bomb acquired. One shuriken acquired. Hmm. Fumo door. What be inside? If you combine shurikens, chat, you can create a boomerang. Don't don't ask me why. Ow. Fascinating, isn't it? This is a cool one. I like this yellow gem. Because it utilizes the mechanic of the pot very nicely. I made it without the pogo man. I just wanted to see if that was possible more than anything. I need four of them. Thank you. He's faster anyway. This is the Pogo Man. That bouncing thing is called a Jump Clance, so once you grab it, you can control it. You just move left, left, but the Jump Clance, you can go anywhere you want, even on thorns. Now, talking to him wasted time, but I felt like it'd be wrong if I didn't. So now we have to redo the whole level again. Hope that's okay. I didn't like my movement in the first four seconds. I'm afraid we're gonna have to do the whole level again. Sorry. Hope that doesn't mind. There we go. Ooh. I'll, I'll just take the jump clancer. Good enough. 40 seconds is fine. Clants War. Alright, chat. You guys like war? That's right. War time, baby. 
It's all going to shit. I, okay. Was this the one where that purple guy has it? I think so. Yeah, okay. I remember there's one of these war levels that's like the gold gem is very easy to miss because it's just in a dude. missile good don't ask me why they're at war in the snowy mountains I'm so angry I'm so angry if I get a B okay this is the worst level in the game chat this is missile surf if the missile crashes you have to restart the whole level well, not the whole level, there's checkpoints, but it is not a fun level. It's my least favorite. What are they fighting for? You know, that's a good question. Ooh. Ooh. That was not fair. You see what I mean? This is what I mean. This is what I mean about this level. This level bullshit. Now, it's crazy. So you see how when the missile explodes, it counts as you, like, falling? So you have to restart. In the speed run, what they do uh, is there's actually a point in the level where they jump off the missile and let it just ride, and they finish the level themselves before the missile crashes. It's crazy. It's it's a cool speed run level in that sense because it, it takes some of the auto-scroller part away. But for the most part, it is exactly as you see. We're just kind of balancing a missile. I wouldn't call it especially difficult, but when you're with, with how the game wants you to go fast with times and stuff, it just kind of it's kind of a shitty level in that sense because all you can do is wait. So the worst part is the gold gem is at the end of the level, and you need to stay on the missile for like extra time, which cuts even more into it. And you don't want to play this level twice. You really don't. That guy's decked out. I gotta be careful I don't dash off by accident. Gonna need this. Yeah, you gotta keep riding up. There we go. Alright. Alright, that was pretty good, all things considered. So, I can hold that for the gold gem. Clam ball lift. You guys wanna... You guys wanna lift some clam balls? Chat, how, how do you think a clam ball feels? Do you think it's like soft? You think if you squeeze it, it's like a, it's like a stress toy? Or do you think it's like not that relaxing at all and Marina just has like a grip that could completely destroy you? Like Flandre style, if you get what I'm saying. Well, accidents will happen. Alright, let's try that again. There we go. Cool. <laughs> cool. Whoa, it happened again. Oh, Morty! I'm 
I'm in pain. I'm not having a good time. <laughs> Oh, it's hard to get the it's hard to get the jump. Hmm. The fuck? There we go. You're just gonna get so far back from it. I like how I can just stop in the air like that. That was a lot smarter. Okay, that was a lot smarter to go like about that. That was a terrible time. We're gonna do it again. See what I mean though about these stages being really fast? Like, you can spend a while in these state. Okay. You can spend a while in these stages looking for the gold gem. But when you can... Like, when you play them fast, it's like, whoa. They're actually pretty quick stages. It's like a, a new Super Marissa Land. When I played that, that game has 10 collectibles per stage. I'm gonna be able to go... Yeah, I didn't think so. You're not the guy I meant to grab, but okay. There's no checkpoints in that game, but there's uh, there's 10 collectibles. So you can really go around the level. You can really go around the level for a while, but if you just run through it without the collectibles, each stage is probably about 40 seconds to like a minute and a half long. They're not that long. Faster. Well, we'll take that. Pew, pew, pew. Whew. That makes up for a bit of it. Yeah, 38 seconds. Pretty good. Go Marzen64. You guys like war? Well, we're back. Ow. Dude, imagine getting fucking body checked by somebody on a jetpack. God, that would hurt. <laughs> clan plot. I forget what stage it is. I'm pretty sure it's the previous one. But finding the gold gem in that stage took a while. But there was one NPC you could see in the foreground. And he was behind a bush. And I was just like, oh shit, I wonder if he's got the gem. But you couldn't interact with him. He's so random. He's just a really random addition. Oh, whoops. Like, we found almost every gold gem in the game by ourselves. There wasn't really, like, this was before a time where there was internet guides. So, like, we really just had to explore. And there's not a lot of hints in the game that tell you where they are. They just kind of want you to go out of your way and look for shit. This right here is a good example of that. But this is a really good game. It's one I would recommend. Even if you've seen somebody play it, playing it yourself, it reminds me of... It reminds me of the days. You know, like, I mean, it's because I grew up with it to an extent, right? Just the fact that there were, there were secret collectibles and I didn't know anybody who knew what they where they were. 
So we just had to figure it out ourselves. And this was back when we had time to do that, so it was fun to do that. Alright, check this out, chat. Too cool. You can get on big jetpack guy. He's got zoomies. He's wicked. I don't know how this makes sense either. Check this guy out. He pops out little dudes, and you have to beat the shit out of him with the little dudes. Oh, I didn't even do anything there. They, they killed him for me. Rolling, 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 rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. There's no purpose to this technique. <laughs> it's just something she can do. I don't know what the point of it is, but she can do it. Alright, let's go. Time to go fast. Ready? that section we're gonna try it again and this is where the frustration sets in when you try to go fast in a level and you uh it doesn't you don't go fast in fact you go very slow this might have been my first real taste of speed running And I learned at an early age that when things don't go my way, it's frustrating. So I didn't want to be a speedrunner. <laughs> I like watching speedruns, though. I picked up a mine off the floor. I thought I was higher up the level. I don't actually remember how to get to where I need to be anyway, but it's fine. Hit the boosty. Nice and safe, nice and safe, nice and safe. Nice and safe. There we go. Stop grabbing him. Stop grabbing him. I'm not even hitting him. <laughs> I'm hitting everything else but him. There we go. That's fine. We can accept that outcome. This is probably faster than what we did earlier, so... Perfect spot. Check it. A rank. See? 127. Alright, chili dog. Puppy. So this one's great. So it's just a random chance that the gem comes out of him. See?
Can I throw him into the wall? Bro. Bro. Ow. Bro. Got his ass. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Doesn't have as much HP as the worm, but the worm you can actually just bludgeon to death. I think that's an acceptable time. That is unacceptable. That is unacceptable. Come here, dog. Come here. Not happening. I didn't mean to throw him up. Oh. Okay. That's definitely at least 38 seconds. It's gotta be better than it was, right? 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 Peep it. 45 seconds. A new record. Snowstorm Maze. You ready? Tricycles. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Shit, okay. I know where the gold gem is. There we go. So it calls itself a maze, but... Oh, that's... I don't know how to fix this. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Put him in this hole. Take him out of his hole. Okay. Huh? Okay, I got bombs. I don't think I need those. So I'll just... Over the wall. Now the fun part. I like how sometimes they go in the pot when you do this. Just sometimes though. Please go in the pot. Please. Please. Thank you. How do I get him in? <laughs> Go in. Go in the pot! Well, that worked. Man, the summer is brewing, chat. I feel the heat. It's only May 7th. Chat, did you know... Mother's Day is next week? Because... I did it. So, I thought it was the last Sunday. So I texted my mom. I was like, Happy Mother's Day. Almost forgot. And she goes, Thanks Dylan, but Mother's Day is next week. I was like, oh. Whoops. Well then, expect the same text a week from now. <laughs> so, oopsie. I'm really bad with dates, chat. The only birthdays I remember are, like, my siblings. 
because those are the ones that I celebrated. That's it. They're ingrained into my memory specifically for that reason. Anyone else's birthday? I don't know. You're gonna call me a bad son for this, but that includes my mother. I don't remember my mother's birthday every single fucking year. It's really bad. I only remember the siblings because we celebrated that. We didn't really celebrate my mom's birthday. So I just never remembered it. I told you, man, I'm bad with dates. It's not even an exaggeration. It's really unfortunate, but it's true. <laughs> I'm so bad at it. And what year did this event occur? How the fuck should I know? Nine times out of ten, I get a reminder from Christian. He's like, uh, in case you forgot, it's mom's birthday. And I'm like, oh. You're right, I did forget. Please do not return to the pot. faster, but it's still not that great. Anyway, here's Lunar. Wow, the snow is wonderful. I've never seen such beautiful snow. Achoo! I'm getting sleepy. Stay awake, Marina. Don't go to sleep. Here's Lunar! Hya, 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 hya. I've been expecting you. Achoo. Do you know what time it is? Well, wrong, it's boss time. Yeah, it's boss time. Achoo. I'm the strongest guy in the universe. The Great Lunar. Achoo. Gee, it's getting cold out here. But that's okay, because this will be a quick fight. Yep, I totally agree. Sniffle, sniffle. Ow. If I remember correctly, the gold gem comes from his gun. Ow. I have to wait for him to shoot a charge shot. He's so cool. Ow. I think I gotta hold it. I can throw it at him. I think it does a lot of damage. Okay. There we go. Huge impact. Well, it's confession time now. Tell me where you took the prop. Uh, true, the old man's no longer here. Some other clans just took him. They had special orders. By the way, you didn't win. I lost due to the snow. Yeah, yeah, by the way, don't sleep there. You'll catch a cold. Ah, true. That wasn't so bad. That was pretty bad. Alright, we're doing it again. Do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, body bag, dude. Fucking body bag. 
Having a command grab, especially that one that works in the air, Marina would be such a toxic fighting game character. <laughs> she would be a grappler for sure. So she's either going to be really bad or the most obnoxious character in the game. Oh, welcome. The Athletic Festival will start soon. This is the super rich hotel for folks from faraway places. They spend tons of money. Ha ha ha. Wow. That's a lot of money you got there, buddy. Now it's in my pocket. Now, chat, before you say anything about what I just did, you'll understand why I did it. It's freezing here, and it's not rich either. I can't sleep in the snow. I'll get the owner. It's freezing. Have I been tricked? But I paid a lot of money. I'd better check it out. Don't cry, kids. There's no bathroom or doors. It's horrible. I want a refund. See what I mean? This weather is torture. I'm always doomed to suffer. I'll make the owner suffer. Now, the thing is, chat, I took all the money. So, they're gonna go demand a refund, but I stole all their money, which means they're probably gonna kill that guy. The guy up top is training for the 100 meter dash. You wanna race him? Okay, run the lower lane. You start till I say go at the red pole. Okay. Clancers are practicing skipping rope. They didn't know there was no skipping rope event this year. You guys wanna skip? Ow. What is that hitting me? Alright. So this is barely a level because you touch the star and then it activates a long ass cutscene. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world's greatest athletic festival of the year. I'm Tack Clancer. Uh, the host of this year's fest. Thank you. Thank you. This is penile music at its finest. All right, is everyone split into two teams? Yep, the red and white teams. The team with the highest score wins, of course. And we have a lovely prize, Professor Theo. He's as many uses, punching bag, doorstop, paperweight, answering machine, etc., etc. What? What's going on here? I don't think anyone will be happy with this prize. Hey, what have we here? It's me, the hospital director. Don't you remember me? Oh, I have some sad news. Do you remember Joel from Neptune? Well, he passed away a few... He passed away, not passed away. He passed away a few days ago. Yeah, it's sad. Say, are you going to the festival? Damn, man, he really fucking glossed over that. That old guy died. Anyway, you want to play? If so, why don't you join us? White team is weak this year and we could use your help. Let's see. Okay, here's the deal. If win if white team wins, I want the prize. You want that? I didn't think anyone wanted him. Fine, if we win, he's yours. Huh, I thought you guys wanted a prize for the fest. Nah, nobody wants the prize. We like the fest, but there are some weird folks who like prizes. There he is, my favorite purple toupee man. Oh, Theo, you're great. He really wants that Theo. What's he gonna do with that, hmm? That's a really bad time, but we can make it faster. Oh my god. Oh my god. What that Theo do, hmm? There we go. Unfortunately, for a fast time, it involves jumping into the star and watching the cutscene again because this one's unskippable.
So chat, this upcoming stage uh, has a gold gem in it that I actually didn't know about when I was a kid. I got it on a playthrough years later in my life when I played the game. But apparently there is a gold gem in the next level and you get it by beating the record on the 100 meter dash. So, that's what we gotta do. Alright. You know that guy I lost to up there? I need to- I need to defeat him. For real this time. 37 seconds. Here we go. 100 meter dash. Pat Clancer's rule book, 100 meter dash. Rule one, everyone must start at the same time and the first one to the goal line wins. Rule two, wait for the word go to start. No flying, please. Rule three, you can't jump here. Please press D-pad repeatedly instead of jumping. Oops, time to start. Try to beat the record of 11 seconds. This is actually really hard to do. <laughs> So close. Okay. That's fine. I don't know why it's lagging so badly. Jump. Long jump. Rule one, jump as far as possible from the line. Each player gets two jumps. The white team will go first, the red team second. If you jump out of the line, it's a foul. It won't count. Oops, time to start. Do your best. Time to show off your slider jump. Okay. <sighs> 833. What's he got? I'd love to see it. I'd love to see it right now. Come on, bro. What a jump. Congratulations to the white team. Yeah. Now you might be thinking to yourself, chat. Streamer, why did you skip the 200 meter and the 400 meter dash? Uh, the answer is actually pretty easy. It's because I would like enough points that I don't actually have to do those, so I can just not do them. <laughs> I'm not mashing for the 400 meter dash. Collecting balls. Each team must throw balls into the clam pot. Get as many in the clam pot, you have 60 seconds. Marina, you're on the white team, you must carry the clam pot. Collect wisely. Oops, time to start. Do your best. Don't catch any bombs. Alright, so this is the game where you just had to grab white balls. Marina's really good at grabbing balls. Don't ask me why they're airdropping bombs. And why they throw maybe one white ball every 50 fucking years. I don't... There's been two white balls. They've thrown... Oh, there's another one. Finally, Jesus. Where the fuck were they all? <laughs> Yo, we got the game on lock, dude. Oh, that guy had a good arm on him. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He had a good fucking arm on that one. He took a free throw, dude. 
three pointer on my shit. But I am the winner, as expected. I uh, this this lags pretty badly. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Hurdle. Attack Clan's just rule book. Hurdle race. Everyone must start at the same time flying. Wait for the word go. No flying, please. Use the jumping skill wisely to fly over hurdles. Okay. Hurdle. Ready? This doesn't count as flying, does it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not flying, right? I'm boosting. Yeah. That doesn't that's not flying. They're not gonna disqualify me. See? It counted. It counted. We're cool. We're cool. Everybody, everybody got together and agreed that we are indeed a. Uh... Yo, look at the guy in the back dressed like Jotaro. You see that shit? He's got those Japanese fans. All right, guys. Guy like math. Pat Clancy's rule book. Math fun. Rule one: You're going to solve math problems. Ask and answer as many questions as you can. Wrong answers won't be accepted. Grab the ball with the correct number on it. It's like a calculator. Grab and release the balls as needed. If you make a mistake, grab the ball with the back air to erase. Time to start jumping. All right, we're gonna do a math. Here we go. Cues. Six plus nine, it's 18 plus six, which is 24. A's. Six times one is six. That's 3 plus 8, which is 11. I grabbed the wrong ball. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong ball. That's 16. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Grab the fucking one. 6 plus 9 is 15. Uh, that's 19. Eight. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Alright then. Yo, bro, got it. He got that eight, though. Got the eight was the answer three times in a row. I didn't even have to move. That's the kind of luck that you want to see in a speedy run. Tack Clanch's rule book. Rule everyone must start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, chat. So I'm not doing this. So I'm gonna fault. Listen to the noise they make when you walk over the line. It's great. You're gonna love it. False start. Ooh, no flying. Believe it or not, this is faster than actually doing this. Well, for the 400 meter dash it is anyway, but I'm not mashing anymore. In case you're wondering, the 400 meter dash Rejected. The 400 meter dash is exactly what you think it is. It is 400 meters and you're mashing the stick. You remember how badly it lagged on the 100 meter dash? Imagine that times four. Now here's the thing. The, the race doesn't end until you cross the finish line. So 
either you foul and don't have to do the entire event, or you have to traverse the 400 meters while everybody just waits for you to finish. Doing this gets you no points and it gets the red team 20. But because I won every other event, I have 10 point buffer and I can afford to do this. Is it lazy? Um, sure. You can call it lazy. But it's more so about preserving my arm. Because I like my arm. Right where it belongs. Untired. Unsoiled. Clear! And there you go. I want- I wanted to do something for Ruma Day today, but I don't feel up to it. So I just had to take what I did yesterday. I got a D rank on that. Try harder. Oh, I think not doing a time for the 100 and 200 meter dash caused, uh, caused that timer. I might have to do it after all. But we need to be 11 seconds. Seven minutes on that. I, I... I got a little too antsy. I think maybe your final time is calculated in this one based on the times of all the events. Which means I added basically like s fucking six minutes onto it by not doing the 400. When you beat the for the first time, doing one event ends the ends the level for you. So you have to do the whole thing. It's pretty nice actually. It's very convenient that they did that. But you see, yeah, it still says the time's really bad because I threw the other events, so I'll probably I'll go back and do them, but not right now, my arm hurts. <laughs> Catastrophe. Thank you, thank you all. The game is over and the winning team is the white team. Okay, listen up. There's a wonderful prize for the white team and the prize is Professor Theo. Professor, come on down. There's a weird cat. Professor Theo has been kidnapped by Lunar. What a bummer. I'm Cat Clancer, and I've come to destroy Marina, but I'm too weak. Let's settle this with a game of dodgeball. Only Marina and I'll play. Everyone else, move. It seems like I just missed the professor, so if I win, you'll have to take me to him. Sure, since Theo is with Lunar. Since you two are playing this game of dodgeball, I'll be the judge. Dodgeball rules. Rule one, throw the ball. Hit your opponent. The left side is Marina, the right side is Cat Clancer. Each player must stay on their side. Again, Marina on the left, Cat Clancer on the right. Rule fight fair if you can avoid being hit by the ball. Oops, time to start. Good luck to both of you. Oh. Get him. 
so evasive. Smack him. What? Oh. <laughs> I can't hit him. Got him. It's not gonna work. No. Can't do it. Double shot. Ugh. There you go. Oh, just as I thought. I knew you'd be good. Let's go see Lunar and Theo. Just be sure to be careful with missiles and laser beams. He's always scolded me for riding on his missiles. He says they're not toys, but they sure are fun to play with. When you shake them, they get bigger. There you go. So chat, you get the gold gem by playing by the rules. However, if you want an extremely fast time. <laughs> oh. Oh, you only won because you cheated, but I'll take you anyway. So yeah, you don't have to play by the rules. You can do this in very quick at a time. <laughs> that feels a little bad, I admit. It does feel a little bad. All right, ready for a cool boss fight? Ow. So, just like the last boss, you have to do this without getting hit, and this boss is extremely easy to fuck up in that regard. This is, in my opinion, the hardest boss to, uh, perfect. And in the speedrun, they actually do a little trick. I don't know how to do it, but they make it so he can't progress the fight past the second phase, so they can just throw missiles at him. I just did that again. You can just throw missiles at him until he dies, because the later parts of this fight require you dealing with him on his own. And, uh, he's a bit of an asshole. But you'll see the coolest part about this guy. C stick is good for that. I don't have to move when I do it. Shit. I'm trying my best, man. I'm trying my best. If I had to rank it, I'd say he's the hardest boss to no hit. Uh, the one I did before, I would actually consider the second hardest. But the third hardest is not that much easier than Megan. That's for sure. That was scary. This part is the worst. <laughs> I 
Oh, God. Oh. Oh, fucking damn it. This is the hardest part of the fight, is getting past this part without getting hit. Because it's so easy for him to just do flips and shit all over you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he's really cool. Dude, he's a wolf man. He's a wolf man and his motorcycle turns into a dog. How is that not cool? Maybe I should just start throwing shit at him. That's Cox. Missiles have to turn around in your hand, and if you let them go early while they're still turning, they fly off into the ceiling. crashed into the missile I was on and it blew up. <laughs> Blood took the direct shot. That hit him. Whoosh. Gun time. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna backflip. Bad spot. Yeah. There we go. Not bad. <sighs> that wasn't too bad after all.
across the space-time continuum. The Empire's plan has been destroyed by Marina's heroics. Professor Theo was also rescued. Ha, <laughs> but the peace is brief. A new battle is stirring, of which Marina is unaware. There's a new enemy. The Bisector. Stay tuned. Same Nintendo 64 time, same Nintendo 64 channel. By the way, here's a useful tip. It's a really good one, too. Against the boss, if you never take a hit, you'll be rewarded with a gold item. Grabbing is where you must begin. Shaking for treasure from within. Throwing fire is how to win. Ultra Ender Galactic Cybot G Marina. Her knife kick will punish you. I mean, she kind of kicks, but not really. Well, B is fine. I could be faster if I played less safe. Emperor Gem Mining at the Cave is going extremely well. If it continues like this, our Imperial fleet will soon be ready to depart. Can you guess what animal he is, chat? What the? Lunar? Who did this? Marina. It was Marina. Marina? You mean it was that ultra intergalactic Cybot G that works for the evil Theo? What's going on here? Lunar has been destroyed. Um, as you can see, Marina is stronger than we had anticipated. So, Taurus, the assignment is now yours. Understood. Loud and clear. It's revenge time. Marina is underestimating the power of the Persector. Uh, that's not what I meant. Marina, I'll make you pay. No, not Marina. Kidnap the professor, you fool. Charge! Yes, sir. Your lives are mine. Here we go, troops. Engage. Damn. Wonder what animal he is. He's the leader of the DK crew. They love him. He's so great. I told him to kidnap the professor. He he he. Don't worry, Emperor. I'll kidnap the professor for you. I hate that thing. Hua hua hua. I'll never be kidnapped again. Look at these weapons. This time I'll fight back. Oh yeah, baby. Huh, a phone call. Professor. Oh, Marina, is that you? I thought you went into the other room, didn't you? No, Professor, I'm right here. Professor, let's play hide and seek, okay? I'll hide and you try to find and catch me if you can. Marina, what happened to you? Why are you being so childish? Fine, I'll play your silly games. Ready or not, here I come. I'm going to catch you. Here I come. Look at this large lad. Huh, they had the wrong number. Huh? Hey, Professor! <laughs> professor! Why would he scream that in that situation? I do not understand. Alright, Aster's Lair. Let's do one level here, chat. That's a big rock. Yeah, if it touches you, you, you go oh no and die. This is some stanky music. Now, to be fair, I like the OST in this game. Quite a bit. I do, however, think it is very stinky. In a lot of different tracks. Gotta beat this rock down. There you go. Ooh, what happened? Did I go on the wrong star? Oh 
man. There's a reason this is the last level I'm doing today. messed up, but it's fine. Let's get a better time than that first. Totally raw. Frogs. I gotta leave you wanting, you know? And how better to make you want than to imply frog behavior? Faster, Marina. That was pretty bad, but I'm sure it's fine. Alright. Yeah, 34 seconds. Alright, chat. Well, the game automatically saves, but... Let's make a save state just in case. So, there's actually only two more worlds in this game. And the, the last world is not a full set of levels. In other words, I played I played two and a half hours and I'm almost done. But it's a great game. I love this game. So, like I thought, I will be able to finish this much, much quicker. I was expecting three parts. But I think I'll be okay with just two. Anyway, I will finish the game. Hope you liked it. Because I love that game. It's very fun. Very fun, and when you kind of learn how to play the game, like doing the techniques for speed, it's, it's very rewarding.